Those of you that know me know that I love ants. And out of all ants, there is one I love even more. Trap jar ants. That is what I want to share with you guys today. Number one, they're actually the second fastest animal on earth. And not because they run fast, but their closing speed of their jaw is actually 2,700 times faster than the blink of a human eye. Right, it took me two hours to find this trap jaw ant nest, but it's right there. Check it out. Did you catch the snap? Let's look at it again. So my camera captures 30 frames per second. By the time my camera captures the second frame, its jaw had already closed, and by the time a third frame is taken, the end is already bouncing back from the force of the snap, like a recoil of a pistol. The snap of the jaw is recorded to have an acceleration of 1.59 million meters per second squared. That is roughly how fast a bullet accelerates in the barrel of a gun. Number two, their name trap jaw ants was named like this because the end of their jaw actually have this latch system that's similar to the me mechanism of a mouse trap. The latch holds their jaw in an open position and stores all these potential energy until it is triggered. The force of their jaw snap is actually 400 times of their own body weight. To understand it, Imagine a human being able to lift eight and a half hippopotamus. Even on this tiny scale, the jaw snap is often enough to stun the prey. So during the outdoor filming session of the trap jaw hands, I was able to get the shot of the snap, but it wasn't really that clear. So I had the idea to build a little setup to really clearly capture the snap of their closing jaws. And the setup is like this. This way, I can make sure that I always have good lighting and ends is always in focus. Did you catch that? The strike force was so strong, the end was bounced off the platform and there is actually an audible sound from the mandible hitting the metal. Don't worry, the end is okay. But now you can clearly see how incredibly powerful their trap jaw is. So while doing research to learn more about these guys, I had a question. How do they know when to snap their jaw? Like for example, the tiny yellow ants running around in the screen here are so fast. When does the trap jaw ant know when to snap their jaw? They have a trigger here at the end of their trap jaw that acts like a trigger of a pistol. This trigger here not only tells them when to release the snap, it also helps them gauge if the target is within range of the snap jaw. This is also how this end knows when to strike when my metal tongue is getting close to it. Number five. Although their jaw snaps are incredibly fast, the trap jaw ant itself doesn't move that quickly. So in order for them to escape, they sometimes could use their snap hitting the ground and bounces themselves off as a mean to run away from predators. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned I really like trap jaw ants. So I think it would not be too surprising to you guys that I actually have a colony of trap jaw ants at home. This is my new Odontomachus monticola trap jaw colony that have just recently moved into this nest are still quite timid. If you watched my another video about tarantulas, you know that feeding tarantula is one of the most satisfying things. However, I think the tarantulas have gotten their match. Watching trap jaw and hunt is also insanely cool. To show this, I have placed a tiny roach in their colony. Immediately, the workers open their jaw, sensing an intruder.
After only a couple hits from the powerful jaw, the roach was incapitated. The trap jaw ants sometimes also hunt like a pack of lions, surrounding their prey and taking turns striking at the target. The tiny roach stands no chance against the powerful strikes of their jaw. Once the roach is done, it's dinner for everyone back at the nest. Interestingly, they also look strangely like a lion when they eat, tearing away at a roach carcass just like a carnivore would, tearing at the flesh on an animal. So I got this colony from my fellow ant keeper. But compared to a colony that you raise yourself from a single queen, it's just not the same. I have tried to look for queens of this species before, and have been successful. However, finding them and raising a new queen from scratch are two completely different things. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to raise the new queens I got last year, but this year, I'll be trying again. The trap jaw ends nuptial flight in Taipei is just about happening right now and you bet I'll be out looking for them. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see my second attempt in raising these ants. Hopefully I'll be successful this year. I'll see you next time.